Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Vape City 530. Today we're going to be talking about the dehydration side effects of vaping. And I do understand there's a lot of controversy on this and I would like your support in uh, maybe telling me your views in the comments down below and we can get this whole thing settled if it's actually a thing or if it's not. Now, before we start, I always have a one liter bottle that I have at home that I drink. It's a Camelback bottle, so I know it's not gonna be, uh, it's BPA safe, so I know it's safe for my body. It's made with, with good quality plastic, and uh, this is what I drink from at home and at the job. Now, there's been a lot of controversy and a lot of uh, weird discussions about does vape juice cause um, dehydration? And as far as I'm, I'm concerned, yes, it does. Now, uh, dehydration comes in a lot of uh, different forms. Uh, maybe your urine is brown, which is horrible. I mean, any um, uh, veteran will tell you that if your urine's brown, you should probably go uh, guzzle down, um, I don't know, a liter of water and, and that will get you back on track. But I do confirm that when vaping vape juice, it really does make you dehydrated. And here's my thoughts about that. Now, what are the major side effects of dehydration? Discoloration of the urine, it's not white. Um, your saliva, is, there's no saliva in your mouth. And I do understand that propylene glycol uh, can cause your mouth to dry up. This is why sometimes you do get canker sores of things in your mouth, especially when you don't clean your, your tip, but mostly because your, your mouth is dry from the PG. Propylene glycol does cause that. The molecules are hydroscopic, so basically they bond well with water molecules. So that's what um, propylene glycol does to your body. So yes, as you vape, the higher the PG that you vape, the more the water molecules are bonding to the vape liquid or to the PG and getting withdrawn out your body by vaping. Another symptom of, of dehydration would be for you to feel tired. Everybody feels tired when they're lacking water, when they're lacking sleep, and this is another reason of dehydration. And another huge sign of dehydration would be thirst, right? If you're thirsty, that's too late. You're already dehydrated. Go chug some water because you do need it. This is basically by drinking one liter of water a day at minimum while you vape. But this is important that you just listen to your body and a one liter a day is just a minimum. And uh, let's say you weigh 150 pounds, you go online and you search your own uh, water intake that you should have for your body weight. Let's say you like a, a vape juice with, with, some, um, with some taste. You can also add taste to your water by maybe adding maybe a, a cucumber or lemons or raspberries or, or some sort of fruit to make the water taste better. Maybe adding some, some crystal light or some Gatorade, you can drink that too also. If you're mixing uh, vaping and um, uh, alcohol is another way really fast to get dehydrated. I mean if you're drinking uh, beer and um, you're really getting dehydrated or, or, or tequila or alcohol or some sort of gin or, or strong spirits, yes you will get dehydrated faster. Uh, especially when drinking maybe like a Coke or Pepsi or um, I'd say like a coffee. Yes, you will get dehydrated faster when you're vaping. You can also have uh, watery fruits when you're uh, vaping. I know this helps me. You can have pineapples are really good. Uh, grapefruit is really good. Uh, and also this helps uh, clearing your body of all the toxins that your body has or that you ingest in, in daily. Let's say you go to McDonald's one day, let's say you eat like crap fruit from the canteen, and this is why you need the antioxidants in the fruits, especially watery fruits, which contain water, so you don't have to drink as much water if you eat watery fruits. And maybe last thing for you guys to do or to think about would be for you to change your vape juice ratio of PG and VG. I know some of you guys are crazy about flavors and uh, maybe it's time for you guys to change that because PG does dehydrate you a lot 
and um, I happen to know that all the vape juice that I vape is high VG. I know that is taxing on my coils, but it helps me in the long run because uh, I vape more VG than PG. So my ratio is really high of VG. I vape honestly about 70 and up. I do not go with 50-50 anymore. I, that is very taxing on my body. Plus it's a more harsh hit than a VG hit. So that is my view on vaping um, and dehydration. But guys, this is not meant to scare you. Uh, vaping and dehydration go hand in hand. There is a way to combat this by drinking your intake of water a day and uh, maybe sticking to higher VG than uh, PG ratios in your vape juice. And maybe be mindful of uh, any substances that are too much in uh, daily routine is not good for you. But anyway guys, if you like to see more of these videos, maybe comment down below. Let's start a vape discussion about this stuff. I really do think that it's very interesting uh, about conserving our bodies and this is the reason why we quit smoking is to live longer and uh, maybe have a more healthier lifestyle rather than to put hundreds of chemicals that we don't know about into our system and maybe we'll go on from there. Thanks guys, see you in the comments.